and try to implement your logic on pen with paper sorry on paper with pen whatever first of all you have to just do all the work on a paper and when you get confident that it is right means after getting dry run and you have enough confidence that my code is right and we have to now just implement it then just came here and start doing it okay so so guys just start our work okay and in this we just get a vector c of intertype then what we we need just make a variable of count of intertype and initialize zero in it we still make a variable also i but instead of for loop we just have to run a while loop here and in this condition should be i should be less than n not n but n minus 1 okay and check here if i less than n minus 2 and c in the position of i plus 2 should be 0 i plus plus and the second if conditions i should not equals to n minus 1 then count plus plus and here we just have to implement our i okay to stop this for loop because this is a return type so we have to just return the value return count yes count so have you understand this code let me first compile this hope but there is an error and what's the error The error is you are not <laughs> the basic error that every program programmer um, is desperate for <laughs> once again so i less than n minus one so n is not declared in this scope so sorry for this we just have to initialize here int n equals to c dot length What's this length? I don't know. In C++ we are using length, is that right? Or size? I'm a little bit confused, but don't worry. Let's use size. Oh my god, holy shit. Okay, so guys, as an as I told in last video, whenever you get an error or in compilation error and whatever, okay, so don't afraid. Just like we use before length, I just a little bit confused that because length used in Java, and but here we can use size, okay. So don't be upset anytime, anywhere, and whenever, whenever you get any type of error, just don't be afraid. Try to focus more and learn from it learn from that error and this is called programming and that's how a programmer get grow yes that's it means aise hi acche programmer banta hai means koi programmer paida nahi hota aur ya koi ek raat mein programmer programmer nahi banta aise hi choti choti mistakes karke aap programmer bante ho that's it that's a simple thing okay so it's time to so let me summarize it this question tells they give you a number and you just 
in this the first line contain an integer and and the total number of clouds the second line contains an space integer binary integer describing clouds ci where zero is less than i as less than n okay we understand this all and what should be the output the output is the minimum number of jumps needed to win the game means कम से कम कितनी जंप कितनी जंप होनी चाहिए जो नीडेड टू विन द गेम ओके मींस यू जस्ट हैव टू मेक अ जंप एंड यू कैन केम हियर एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन मेक जंप ओके यू कैन नॉट राइड ऑन दिस ऑन दिस वन ओके सबसे पहले तुम यहाँ पे यहाँ से जंप लगाओगे तो वन पे पहुँच जाओगे मींस यहाँ से तुम जंप नहीं लगा सकते यहाँ पे तुम फर्स्ट जंप तुम्हारी यहाँ पे होगी दैट इज वन दैट द इंक्रीमेंट काउंटर ओके सो काउंटर इज इंक्रीमेंटेड that is one okay so first jump and you cannot you cannot run here because you will get lose or over game you will <laughs> lose the game okay so you just have to make a jump from here first of all came here one two got it two three and that is four <laughs> the answer is four simple yes just like this one one two means you just have to skip this one means that's a index number but you just have to skip this uh, just like this okay one two three four that's it and just like here means this one is the different one from the before you can directly jump from here to here because you just have to take a minimum number of jump okay instead of come here instead of jumps here take a long jump a better jump that is one but if you jump here to here means then game over so you just have to take a jump from here to here that is two and this one is three got it this is a so simple program and you just implement this okay so this time is to submit the code and just let's watch how much test case your code is able to pass oh i hope congratulations you just did it we will solve this program in next video